okay just i am uh, sharing the screen okay friends in last lecture friends you are able to see the screen my shared screen is visible to you all yes sir okay thank you shweta in last lecture just uh, memorize before about the three week we are at the oscillator tank circuit and this part will be studied it will be learned in detail in last lecture okay it also revi revised by me on uh, saturday it may be no on sunday from home and same same content will be studied by me yes sir namaste बोला की बोला की हाँ हाँ बराबर हाँ 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 रविवारी जरा जाऊ की आपण ठीक आहे ठीक आहे सोमवारी जाऊया मग ओके ओके बरोबर बर बरोबर 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 एक एक काम करू मी तुम्हाला म्हणजे लेक्चर मध्येच आहे पण तुमचा फोन म्हटलं मी हे करत नाही कधी येस रात्रीचा करतो की फोन रात्री तुम्ही काही कामात असत ओके 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 फ्रेंड्स जरा इसेन्शियल एक फोन होता इन लास्ट लेक्चर बिफोर थ्री वीक वी स्टडीड इन डिटेल द ऑसिलेटर दॅट इज द टँक सर्किट टँक सर्किट ऑफ द ऑसिलेटर दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द एल सी सर्किट एल सी पॅरल सर्किट दिस इज एल सी पॅरल सर्किट अँड इट विल बी ऑपरेट एज द टँक सर्किट 
if capacitor is charged and it will be placed parallelly in uh, inductor or in inductance and if this switch is closed this switch is closed just i am taking the pen okay if this switch is closed then what will be happen the electrostatic energy which is stored inside the capacitor in the form of the charging that capacitor starts discharging through the inductance from negative to positive from negative to positive in this way in this way the capacitor will be discharging through the inductance and here the conversion of electrostatic energy in magnetostatic energy will be started that is the electrostatic energy in the form of the charge stored uh, in capacitor it will be converted into magnetostatic energy and due to that magnetic flux or produces and magnetic field strength of the magnetic field that is magnetic induction strength of magnetic induction will be increases across the inductance as the capacitor is discharges when capacitor will be fully discharges fully discharges then the magnetostatic energy or the strength of the magnetostatic energy across the inductance will be maximum when whole the energy across the capacitor will be collapsed again magnetic energy or the magnetostatic energy which is produced across the inductance it starts collapsing and again the current will be starts moving in same direction and it will be charges again the capacitor in this manner that is upper plate of the capacitor become negative charged and lower plate of capacitor become positive charged in this manner again magnetostatic energy which is uh, produced across the inductance it will be collapsing it will be dis, uh, just uh, discharging and again that back emf that current is flowing in same direction and charges the capacitor again or recharges the capacitor again in manner shown that that is the upper plate become the negative charged and lower plate become the positive charge when the whole energy across the inductance will be collapsed the capacitor will be maximally charged and electrostatic energy stored the across the capacitor will be become maximum again when whole energy across the inductance will be will be collapsed capacitor again discharges from negative charge to positive charge in reverse direction in reverse direction again capacitor will be discharging through reverse direction and the electrostatic energy across the capacitor will be converted into magnetostatic energy but here the magnetic flux direction will be opposite in second diagram it will be showing in upward direction in fourth diagram it will be showing in downward direction means that here the direction of the back emf direction of the induced emf direction of the current will be changes and it will be reversed because again here the charge discharging of the capacitor will be occur from the negative charge to positive charge of the battery uh, positive charge of the capacitor means that the polarity will be reversed at the time of the charging and here the the induced emf will be flowing starts flowing through the Uh, inductance and again the interconversion of the electrostatic energy into magnetostatic energy will be occurred in between this com in between these two component that is the capacitor who who stores the electrostatic charge it will be converted into magnetostatic charge which was uh, which was uh, induced inside the uh, inside the inductance and magnetic induction or the magnetic flux strength will be increased in this manner 
in this manner in between this tank circuit it means the parallel circuit of the inductance and capacitor that is conversion 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 of the interconversion of the electrostatic energy into magnetostatic energy and again the magnetostatic energy into electrostatic energy it will be continuously going on and due to that due to that in between these two component if we take the two points consider here i am going to show this is a point and this is b point and if we take output across the in, across the tank circuit parallel circuit of the inductance and capacitance we see that each time the direction direction of the emf direction of the uh, direction of the current flowing through this inductance it will be reversed periodically from inductance to capacitor capacitor to inductance again inductance to capacitor and in this manner the ac will be produced that means the alternating signal will be produced across the uh, across the tank circuit or across these two point that will be shown by the red line that is the a and b point across a and b point we get the alternating signal means that means that this very small assembly of two component that is the capacitor and inductance if they are placed in parallel way and if the charged capacitor is placed then its discharging is occur through the inductance and again the magnetostatic energy will be discharges through the capacitor again the electrostatic energy is discharges through the inductance and this repeated procedure this repeated uh, repeated process of the current flowing it will be gives it will be produces it will be designed an alternating signal across the two point a and b and this is the theme of the tank circuit that will be studied before the three vacs okay after if we take the output across the a and b that output should be ac but in last uh, last lecture we studied that that output ac is not a constant which has not a constant amplitude if you see very keenly toward the damped oscillatory from the tank circuit that is the output is shown here and whose graphical representation is shown here and that seen that the amplitude will be decreases in in oscillation in each oscillation the sum of the amplitude will be lost sum of the signal ac signal or sum of the amplitude will be lost friend what is the reason to decreasing the amplitude in each oscillation just think in last lecture i say that there are two reasons due to which the amplitude of the oscillatory motion will be decreased and that nature that nature of the ac will be known as an damped oscillatory motion or damped oscillatory output that output will be uh, that that output will be we are going to uh, get at point a and b or we are going to Uh, get across the uh, inductance and capacitor that will be known as a tank circuit what is the reason there are two reason one can able to say what is the reason why the amplitude of the tank circuit was decreases along each oscillation anyone can able to answer it okay friends friends there are two component one is the resist one is the inductance and other is the capacitor we know that inductance is made up of the wire and if the wire is wounded it can produces the inductance and wire is the metallic wire and each and every metal has an resistance and that will be known as an ohmic resistance and due to resistance there is the losses is losses are made 
the resistance can insert the losses and due to resistance resistance has its one of the characteristic to resist the flow of uh, current means that it can oppose the flow of current and due to that to overcome the opposition of the resistance some of the energy will be lost due to the resistance of the inductance that will be known as an ohmic resistance and in in a capacitor we know that each and every capacitor has an leakage means that if the capacitor consider that if the capacitor has no leakage then capacitor may be worked as an battery but due to the design due to the plates there are two parallel plates metallic plates and in between the plates there is the uh, one of the dielectric medium and due to the dielectric medium the dielectric medium is of uh, insulator is of uh, infinite resistance and due to this construction each and every capacitor has the leakage and in capacitor some of the charges some of the power will be lost up and due to this two reason that is ohmic resistance of the inductance and leakage inside the capacitor or leakage of the capacitor some of energy some energy will be lost in every oscillation and hence we see that the output across the tank circuit that will be shown in last slide if we take the output across the a and b we get the damped oscillatory output it means in each oscillation the amplitude will be lossing amplitude will be decreasing and after a number of oscillation it will be diminishes or it becomes zero but we know that we are going to study the oscillation or oscillator an oscillator is the circuit whose output is oscillatory whose output is ac whose amplitude is constant here only tank circuit cannot operated as the oscillator only tank circuit will be starts we know that the another definition of the oscillator oscillator is the oscillator is the electronic circuit which converts the dc into ac dc means the direct current direct and ac means the direct uh, ac alternating signal which will be oscillated up and down and if the dc will be we have to convert the dc into ac in case of oscillator one of the converting circuit is required and that converting circuit is the tank circuit here tank circuit can able to convert the direct current to alternating current but that alternating output will be damping damping means its amplitude will be decreasing in each and every cycle or in an each and every oscillation and after some oscillation after n oscillation it will be diminishes <coughs> it becomes zero and such a oscillatory movement will be known as or such a output that will be shown in here are in this graph just here i am showing the graph in this graph the amplitude will be decreasing with respect to time and that will be known as a damped oscillatory motion but one thing is very important what is the frequency of this is of this damped oscillatory motion the frequency of the damped oscillatory motion is uh, it will be marked it will be fixed by the magnitude of the inductance and capacitor if we consider the inductance of the l and capacitor is the c we know that inductance is measured inductance is measured in henry and capacitor is measured in faraday's then 
the frequency of the damped oscillatory motion f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi and here we, i will show the formula that is f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root sorry 1 upon 2 pi root of lc where root in root the l is the inductance in henry and c is the capacitor capacitance in farad and if we put the values of inductance and capacitor in this formula then we are able to calculate the frequency of a damped oscillatory motion which was formed by which was formed by tank circuit then here tank circuit is very important and tank circuit is used to uh, used to develop used to determine used to used to start the oscillatory motion in direct current means that this is highly used for the conversion of the direct current into indirect one means it will be it will it will be used to convert the direct current into alternating one but with the frequency which was determined by the magnitude of the inductance and capacitance but the signal is damping signal is decaying signal is decreasing in each oscillation or in each cycle means that only tank circuit does not occur as the oscillator because the output of the tank circuit is damped oscillatory motion and we want in oscillation output should be undamped output should be undamped that will be known as an sinusoidal output or sustainable output it will be known as an sustainable output and for sustainable output we have to use one of the other circuitry which can make the constant output constant which can make the, the undamped output sinusoidal output at the uh, oscillator at the output of the oscillator and you we see the next slide that is undamped oscillation from the circuit undamped oscillation je damped ahe je pratyek amplitude kami kami hote te mala kay karayche tata undamped karayche mhanje tanchi amplitude mala constant devayche and to make undamped aplyala tyachya madhe kahi tari technique use karav lagel undamped oscillation from the tank circuit as discussed above the tank circuit produces the damped oscillation we know that tank circuit is the parallel uh, parallel uh, arrangement of the inductance and capacitor and which can produces the damped oscillation in uh, first slide about across the a and b we get the damped oscillatory motion or the damped oscillation and this is not useful for the radio transmission because of their limited range and exclusive distortion friends in damp damped oscillatory motion distortion is very very high also it will be decaying after some time we want we want the constant sinusoidal waveform at the output with prescribed frequency. With the constant frequency, constant amplitude, we want alternating uh, signal at the output of the output of the uh, oscillator for the radio communication and for good radio transmission. We need, we must need undamped oscillation our undamped waveform undamped alternating sinusoidal signal at the output of the oscillation out output of the oscillator means that for radio communication damped oscillatory motion is uh, unuseful we require undamped oscillatory motion whose output is sinusoidal whose output amplitude is constant also it has an prescribed frequency which can achieve the well radio communication which can be produced by some additional energies supplied to correct phase and correct direction to the lc circuit and which can make the power i square r constant 
means that if we carefully see i am going to back to this slide here we see the damped oscillating motion and in damped oscillating motion i am showing by the red mark that is amplitude of amplitude of oscillatory motion is decreasing in this way amplitude of oscillatory motion is decreasing in this way from i max plus i max to minus i max and after making some oscillation after making n oscillation it will be damages to zero but to convert this damped oscillatory motion into undamped one into sustainable oscillatory motion we have to add we have to add some power for each oscillation here we to we have to add here we have to add in this way here we have to add here again we have to add means that for each cycle in each cycle we have to add some power that is i square r in same phase ito jo phase hai ito jo output la ac cha jo phase hai yaach phase madhe aplyala pratyek veila jevdi kami hote jevde losses hote hai jevde losses hote hai due to the ohmic resistance of the inductance as well as the leakage which is uh, which is found inside the uh, capacitor ya doghancha mule tank circuit mule jo loss hote hai to loss aplyala pratyek cycle la kay karava lagel त्याच फेज मध्ये भरून काढावं लागेल आणि अशी जर सिस्टम आपण एक्सटर्नली कशामध्ये केली या टँक सर्किट मध्ये केली तर आपल्याला काय करता येतं मित्रांनो सांगा तर आपल्याला निश्चितपणे डॅम्प्ड ऑसिलेटरी मोशनचं कन्व्हर्शन आपल्याला कशामध्ये करता येईल अनडॅम्प्ड ऑसिलेटरी मोशन मध्ये आपल्याला करता येईल अनडॅम्प्ड ऑसिलेशन फ्रॉम द टँक सर्किट एज डिस्कस्ड बिफोर टँक सर्किट प्रोड्युसेस दी डॅम्प्ड ऑसिलेटरी मोशन how you are in practice we can continuous the damped oscillation for the successful operation of the electronic equipment or in a different or in a different uh, transmission it may be radio transmission or tv transmission we want the sustainable oscillatory motion that will be known as an undamped oscillatory motion in order to make the oscillation in the tank circuit undamped it is necessary to supply the correct amount of the energy to the tank circuit at a proper time to meet the losses means the losses we have to overcome the losses overcome the lo we have to overcome the losses which was formed by the which was formed by the tank circuit that is the parallel arrangement of the inductance and capacitor and to overcome that losses we have to add some of the some of the energy some of the power to damped oscillatory motion in each cycle with the same phase in each cycle with the same phase and if we meet we if we overcome we are, if we are able to overcome the losses in tank circuit the output of the tank circuit become undamped and if it become undamped as shown in this figure this figure shows this diagram shows or this graph shows the undamped oscillatory motion here undamped oscillatory motion and undamped oscillatory motion if we can able to form if we are able to uh, meet the losses then we get the uh, und uh, undamped oscillatory motion or the sinusoidal oscillatory motion which will be known as a sustainable oscillator uh, oscillatory motion in which output will become output or amplitude of the uh, the uh, out uh, amplitude of the ac signal become constant such a such a form of the wave such a sinusoidal form of the wave will be known as an undamped oscillatory motion as shown in figure 3.3 any energy would be applied to the circuit must have the conforming and existing polarity it means we know that it is alternating it will be alters with respect to time if although it is alternating but whose amplitude become the constant by we have to add we have to add 
the amount which is to be losses and which which can able to cover which can able to recover the losses of the uh, lc tank circuit then the output of the lc tank circuit become undamped and such undamped oscillatory output is very essential in view of electronics in it is used in different communication such a type of telecommunication radio communication in process of the amplification it will be highly used and therefore in order to make the oscillation in tank circuit and damped we have to use the above condition to fulfill it. if we fulfill it then we get the conversion of damped oscillation into undamped one friend this is the one of the one of the full diagram here graphical representation of the undamped oscillating motion just i am marking here friend i am marking here by red pen this is undamped oscillatory motion and if such a motion such a wave form such a wave nature is formed at the output of the at the output of oscillator then that output will be known as an undamped output and we require such a type of output okay friend you have any any difficulty here we see that no only tank circuit acts as an oscillator for oscillator we have to add some of the circuitry some of the extra circuitry with the tank circuit which can overcome the losses in each cycle in each wave and if we are we are able we are able to make or recover the losses then the damped oscillatory motion is converted into undamped or sinusoidal or sustainable oscillatory motion and it will be it will be one of the form to convert the damped oscillatory motion to undamped one okay then next point friend and it is very essential that is what are the essential part of the oscillator we know that no only tank circuit can be used as an oscillator no only feedback circuit can be used as an oscillator circuit no only amplifier those it will be the common emitter amplifier or the ideal amplifier cannot be used as an oscillator means oscillator is the circuit whose output is constant sinusoidal oscillatory output or sustainable oscillation it is the oscillator oscillator is the circuit in other language oscillator is the circuit who convert direct current into alternating one with constant amplitude and prescribed frequency with constant amplitude and prescribed frequency it means oscillator is not a one single circuit or not a one single component electronic compound component but it is the combination it is the block of combination of the different circuit then what are the essential parts of the transistor oscillator what are the essential part and here the block diagram of the this is the block diagram of the oscillator and in this block diagram of oscillator we see the essential part of the oscillator we see the essential part of the oscillator one essential part is the tank circuit tank circuit it will be known as an frequency determining circuit tank circuit like tank circuit there is the one part of the one part inside the oscillator that part of the circuit 
that region of the circuit will be worked as the frequency determining circuit here tank circuit is we are going to see the tank circuit this tank circuit can be able to determine the frequency this part this part of the transistor oscillator can define can fix the frequency of the oscillator and hence this part is also known as an frequency determining circuit frequency determining circuit of the transistor oscillator is the one of the region one of the portion one of the circuit in oscillator which can fix which can determine the frequency of the oscillator mhanje ya sagya oscillator chi frequency kay hai he determine karaycha kaam kunach asta mitranno tank circuit cha asta ani tyaas tank circuit la apan frequency determining circuit asa pan mhanto and this is the one of the part of transistor oscillator this is the one of the part of oscillator it consists of inductance coil connected in parallel with the capacitor and the frequency of the oscillation in the circuit is depend upon this uh, the value or the magnitude of the inductance and capacitance means the frequency is determined by this portion this region and that a formula of the frequency f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root of capital l into capital c that will be the formula will be already we said and means this is the one of the essential part of the transistor oscillator that is frequency determining circuit or it will be known as an tank circuit okay ek part zara dusra kay hai baka friends the second part is very essential and that part will be the that part will be the transistor amplifier that part is the transistor amplifier friends this is the transistor amplifier and in first chapter we studied in well manner the transistor amplifier how the process of the transistor biasing how the faithful amplifier work how what is the dcac analysis dcac load line and what type of the Uh, what types of the amplifier common base common emitter common collector why the common emitter is essential or, or the ideal mode of the uh, transistor amplifier and what are the application of the transistor amplifier and what is the uh, frequency response curve of the transistor amplifier and how which region which region of the frequency response curve is very essential in case of transistor amplification for the process of the faithful amplifier all these thing all these things we studied in detail in key in the first chapter that is the transistor amplifier friends this transistor amplifier is the one of the block one of the block and which is very very essential and the transistor amplifier receive the dc or dc power from the battery and changes into ac power by supplying the tank circuit and the oscillation occurring to the tank circuit are applied to the input of the transistor amplifier and because of the amplifying properties of the transistor we get increased output of this oscillation and this amplified output of the oscillation <coughs> this amplified output of the oscillation is due to the dc power supplied to the battery and the output of the transistor can be supplied output of the transistor can be supplied to the tank circuit to meet the losses friend very important that is the transistor amplifier can be able to provide can be able to overcome the losses of the inductance and the capacitor losses of the losses due to the tank circuit are overcome by the transistor amplification circuit and hence this is the one that is the tank circuit then the second transistor amplifier is very essential part of the uh, transistor oscillator and third part is the feedback and feedback is the very very essential network uh, for the fabrication of the for the designing of the oscillator the feedback circuit supplies the we know that feedback is the process 
of injecting small part of the output back again to the input. It is the process of injecting that is in which the small part of the output will be fed back to the input. And here the feedback circuit supplies the part of the collector energy to the tank circuit in correct phase that is that is to overcome the losses the phase is very essential and if the phase is uh, the loss will be uh, loss will be recovered with the same phase then then that process is very very essential process in case of the uh, oscillator or a transistor oscillator and in transistor oscillator here we provide the positive feedback there are two types of the feedback positive feedback negative feedback the positive feedback is very essential in last lecture we studied that and here we know provide the positive feedback and if we provide such a type of positive feedback then we can able to get we can able to form we can able to design the uh, oscillator means that in oscillator there are the three important uh, networks three important region three important parts one is the tank circuit that will be known as an uh, frequency determining circuit the second is the transistor amplifier transistor amplifier it may be common base or common emitter because the common emitter is the ideal mode of transistor amplification and that will be very essential in case of the in case of designing the oscillator and again third one is the feedback circuit and feedback circuit is one of the one of the very essential uh, essential part in case of the in case of uh, in case of oscillator in this lecture we see that the three essential part of the uh, transistor oscillator one is the frequency determining circuit that will be known as a tank circuit second one is the transistor amplifier and third one is the feedback circuit okay friends here we are going to stop because i know that just we are you are engaging from 9:30 firstly you are engaged by the mr avinash patil again secondly you are engaged by the dr uh, mr avinash ladgaukar sir and again from last hour i am engaging you okay today we are stopping here please submit your attendance in chat box and if you have any confusion any doubts about this lecture then session is free for discussion okay if anyone have any difficulty please ask me i will uh, i will try to rectify it on my best level please give the attendance in chat box mitrano punna ekda chat box madhe attendance da sagani dila साक्षी काय अडचण आहे का कुणाची नाही सर बाकी पूनम अमृता निखिल प्रणोती धनश्री सर काय आहे पूनम नाही सर ओके ओके नाही सर काय प्रॉब्लेम नाही समज ओके ओके स्टॉप करूया आपण इथं हो चालेल सर ओके ओके थँक्यू हॅव अ नाईस डे स्टे होम स्टे सेफ थँक्यू